What's up, guys? It's Josh. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying to make it funny because I'm. I'm at your your setup. This isn't my my abode. I think you're fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm uncomfortable, guys. Do you feel uncomfortable playing against this leader? Most people do. I don't. I love playing this leader. Using this leader against this leader. Everything. I love being told no. I love saying no. So let's start saying no. Full counter. We got Meliodas on the left. Leader of the deck. He summons Planet Tuffle. Planet Tuffle allows all of your counter cards to be played for one less energy. Not specified cost though. So some of the cards that you play don't get reduced. Which is fine. Um, on the front side, all you do is draw and get the planet, which is pretty self-explanatory, as I already said it. When you awaken, you get to draw two. It would be great if this was a draw one, untap one, but it isn't, so we live with it. Uh, you got Overlord on the back side. Overlord is amazing in this deck because a lot of your cards have Servant. Uh, it allows you to keep your draw power up, allows you to keep more negates in hand, allows you to get more cards on field. Like, you need a hand size to fully negate everything every turn which is all you want to do you also got this ability activate main you look at the top three cards of your deck you choose a mono blue counter card put it in your hand and then you put a card at the bottom of the deck a lot of your effects that you want have to do with the bottom of the deck and or getting specific things in your hand so rifling through your deck is really really good um so that's something to take in mind when you're practicing the deck practice this a lot uh, on the first list of counter attacks, we got Baby One Drop. This card does pretty much what your leader does, where if you saw something in your hand that you didn't really need right away, you could put it at the bottom of your deck, you could grab it off the bottom of your deck, and now if you have a card you no longer need, you could put that at the bottom of the deck instead. Um, next, you got New Dimension Magic for Baby Leader specific. You get to draw one card on tap two. It's pretty good it's honestly i was playing the deck beforehand and it felt really really good but then adding this like my hand size just stays very consistent um next you got blue topo uh trunks and gohan uh the gohan he's good early game <clears throat> but most people are just gonna end their turn early game if you do it and it doesn't end up doing much because you don't do much during your turn but late game when you start recycling him non-stop he's probably the best card in the deck uh we got the free baby body snatcher so free that we have two of him on this slide uh he has overlord just like the leader uh if you don't want to awaken early in certain matchups he's really cool because he basically acts as your leader with the overlord mechanic so that you can keep putting the gohans and the bullets back at the bottom of the deck and drawing more cards uh next we got the trunks uh it could be a one drop or a two drop in this deck if you have a unison out usually it's a two drop but even for two energy instead of three this card is worth summoning in a lot of matchups or you just charge it uh golden revenge you add one of your counters on field back to your hand so you could do a, a bunch of really crazy loops with like baby the body snatcher being free um if you have enough energy to just go free negate bounce it free negate bounce it uh, next you got Bulla, another aggressor in the deck. Almost everything in this deck is technically your win con kind of like in pan, but you're summoning everything on defense. You you basically get to aggress as hard as your opponent aggresses, um, unless they wipe your board. Next is Vegeta, ready to rumble. He's both a blocker and a counter attack, and every time that they attack after he is summoned, they have to get rid of an energy so that goes really well with the trunks um on top of that it stops them from doing any crazy plays or it just ends their turn outright and then you have a 20k body on board the blocker on it basically tells them hey you're gonna lose one energy no matter what and most people don't want that to happen next we got ba baby the bite uh the baby the saiyan slayer hard word to say i guess uh you, he has an activate main that you look at the bottom of your deck if it is a counter card that is an energy cost less than or equal to what you have you get to summon it so if you get 
one or two of him out and they don't deal with it you just keep summoning off of this guy every single turn so you get to like go super wide without touching your hand which is nice next we have mechiorp he's just like the baby uh body snatcher he is a free negate basically and he's a 15k body so you're going to be aggressing with these unless they send Subin. but then you just kind of stall them out while they're trying to stall you out and you go really far into the game like 20 turns <laughs> next dimension magic uh you you actually cut this down a little bit from since we got the tournament pack card you really only want to use this when you tap out and you want to take a life off of it so that you could negate even more um baby diabolic parasite is essentially the blue denial of hope um this card also has overlord so if you and it untaps one energy when you activate it so it's basically one energy and that is like ridiculously good you could stop so many things with this card and then having overlord with servant on board is like super needed um ss trunks counterplay stops anything from being summoned puts it back in the hand um you only do this past like turn three or four if they can't get rid of your unison which is really hard because you're negating everything that goes after the unison uh baby golden avenger is a battering laser and a counterplay that uh is almost identical to the ss trunks but you have to pay five for it unless you activate the unison's uh marker effect to make him free kind of by discarding two cards um when he is summoned you get to draw a card and you get to put a card at the bottom of their deck from their field ignoring barrier that is really good when you go back to this four drop baby right here um he can summon him for free once you have five energy and i do that more often than i do the battering laser effect to be honest mafuba is really good i've been going back and forth between two and four copies of it in the deck i think i'm gonna sit at two in the main two in the side uh mafuba is mafuba and mafuba for one energy is better mafuba so run with it the re remaining cards the only cards in the deck that aren't counter cards is uh baby the unit uh unknown parasite you draw one card per turn with him most people are going to attack him non-stop because they don't want you getting that five markers so who cares as long as you're drawing cards like you get to stall out the game even harder um but once you do the effect you basically get to just win off of one battering laser and double strike for the leader i always forget that's even a thing that it boosts the leader gets double strike gets an awesome card uh zamasu sacred disbelief super combo is basically a negate in certain matchups most matchups actually uh then you got obuni i didn't like obuni in the deck at all now that we have the ultimate shown obuni is actually kind of nuts in the deck so you tap out all your energy for him you get the one energy back usually and now you get to do that every single turn until they force you to use your ultimate and then you still potentially get to do it one more time so you get multiple of him out and now you could just start aggressively sum summoning things even though you usually don't uh vegeta the disciplined warrior is the other super combo of choice you get to draw two by putting one card at the bottom of the deck this you really only end up using it at the end of the game when someone goes for game aggressively into an attack that you didn't counter or if you are going for game the ultimate so this card is basically a turn ender they get to keep playing and summoning things but if they tap out then they're gonna end up killing themselves because your board is already pretty wide and he's a 40k and just if they tap out they lose unless they're blue so other cards that you can play in the deck are as you see um, most of these i've tested in the deck and none of them really shined to me hit was cool he's great for two energy but the baby version of him felt more useful at most times uh same with ui sun goku really good but also i didn't care to use him very often but a lot of people will disagree and a lot of people have a right to disagree i a lot of things that come with defensive decks is how you would like to defend so if you like it put it in um the rest test it out see how you like it put in the comments whether or not 
you think I should edit things with them because there's a lot of different things you could do with these cards. Here is the list that I am running. It's pretty cut and dry, pretty budgeted, except for the ultimate, I'm assuming, when it comes out. But I've tested this deck a lot, and this is the ratio that feels the cleanest and the most uh, the most consistent on getting two drops in your hand early. And that's really all I cared about. So with this, I'm going to let you guys go. Have fun saying no. Feel empowered. Peace out. We'll be right back.